friends and welcome back to another episode so here I am so next to my collection you already see this in my previous videos a lot of times nothing new in here but hear me out guys a couple of weeks ago there was a crazy idea that started to bubble inside of my head and the idea was this so um, well as you, let me show you what I did so I bought this large container as you can see in here and the idea is in the nutshell is like that is doing something that is alive with fossils so I know that the idea is crazy right but hear me out so I have uh, plenty of broken pieces and, and small fossils that are laying around in my backyard and the idea is uh, put them inside of that jar and doing some sort of vivarian with the fossils some sort of closed ecosystem inside of this jar so I have to put a lid on this and the the, the objective it's uh, well it's have something that grows inside of this without doing anything just need a little bit of light and with fossils so I want to give the vibe of something that is abandoned something with moss well I I know that I work a lot to remove all of the debris and dirt from these fossils but I think it's going to uh, to be cool doing something like that so uh, let's get started and we'll see what the results will be so I'm going to do this step by step let's see if this will turn out okay so friends so the first step in here so is in this container I'm going to create a layer about one inch thickness with some of these little fossils that were laying around in my backyard so some of them are more or less cool but I have better ones there in my collection so the objective here is to uh, make a layer uh, that is going to work as our drainage I'm going to explain the, this in, in the, the more, more in the front but just one layer of one, one thickness one, one or two I, I guess one one is enough one inch thickness uh, of these fossils and I'm going to try to put the fossils uh, well the best fossils um, turn to this side for the the, the people the people the person that is uh, watching the vivarian sees that the bottom layer is made out of fossils because because that's the main purpose so let's get started and we'll see how this is going to turn out So friends, here it is, the first step. So as you can see, I have a layer of uh, fossils that are going to act a uh, kind of um, uh, drainage. So the water will stay in there, in the middle of all of that. So uh, I guess the ones that are in the, in, the, in the middle are not going to be seen because we, have, we are going to have a lot of stuff in the top. Uh, so, but the ones that are in the in this side over here in the in the bottom. So I guess I'm going to put a little bit more. So I have a few other ones that. Whoa, this is not focusing. So I have a few other ones. I'm going to sprinkle them around in there. So it kind of makes uh, the bottom a little bit more compact. But I just want you to see that. This is the, the first step in order to build our fossil vivarian. So let's continue. So I added a few more fossils to the bottom layer. As you can see, it's starting to, to look very cool. But now we are going to add a second layer. And for that, I need to go outside because I cannot do that inside or else I'm going to make a mess in here. So let's get outside and I will explain why we need to add that layer. So for the next step, we are going to need some charcoal. So any, any type of charcoal could do. So the one that you normally use on your barbecues is great. So just keep in mind that you don't need large, large chunks. So just some smaller ones. 
So these ones I already put this in the plate and I'm going to take it inside. It's too sunny in here. And I'm going to show you why you need this. And I'm going to put them inside our little ecosystem. So let's go inside again. As you can see, I picked some smaller pieces. I'm not going to uh, take them with my hands now. But um, I'm going to add a layer in the bottom about the same height as this other one that is in here. And what this is going to do is this is going to act like a filter. So if our ecosystem is closed and the water evaporates and it starts to, to recycle inside over here, so the water will be collected in the bottom in this drainage layer and but it's going to be filtered with this uh, charcoal layer so i'm going to add it uh, now and you guys are going to see the end results in a few moments so let's get going so here it is so we are the second layer of charcoal which is looking like that so uh it's kind of a looking look nice so now we need to do uh, one thing so let me let me just show you how it looks from the top so it's all nice uh, tight in, in here so now we are going to need to add a net on the top of the charcoal uh, because uh, later we are going to add a chunk of dirt and we want to prevent that the dirt with the water to fall down from from the this layer to the layer of the filter and to the crevices of the drainage layer because if that happens well it's all mixed up and this will not do the the part that uh, it's supposed to do and this uh, will not do the the same thing so we got we want to separate the the things so how are we going to put uh, a, a net in here so let me just show you how i'm going to do that so guys i'm not sure if you uh are seeing this properly so I had this this mesh laying around I guess this is from Halloween uh, I bought this to do something I don't remember but as you can see well this kind of looks like a net but it has some large holes so I'm going to overlap this one or two times and then I, I will show you how we are going to put that so uh, what I did was like that because this cloth i don't know if you can say it cloth this is kind of a mesh uh well i remember now i bought this during the i guess a couple of years ago with for the halloween so i folded in three times so i'm going to overlap them like that because now the the the, the holes are very much uh, smaller and it fits the the purpose of, of what we want to achieve but if, if you don't have this cloth you can uh, use some sort of a mesh anything that don't decompose with time something uh, of plastic uh, there are people that use a piece of plastic and poke holes on it in order to the water pass through it and, and, and some moist pass through it but not dirt so I guess this is going to to do the job but now let me show you how I'm going to cut this so make sure that you leave a margin to the container so I'm going to cut like that leaving to well one or two inch margin around this so I cut the, the fabric like that so all around the, the container so it's a little bit messed up I should I should uh, work as a barber <laughs> Okay, uh, so now I'm going to put this inside of the container and do uh, the separation from the charcoal. So uh, I use this one, it's black because it kind of dilutes itself with the, the environment. Uh, I prefer black, but you can use any color if you want. So now I'm just going to put it inside. So uh, I need to use both hands. So guys, you are not going to see this, but I will show you the end result. So here it is the result. I know that it looks a little bit messy, but adding this to the container is a, a nightmare because it doesn't want to stay in one place and it's kind of a difficult to center that in, in the in the middle. So I use this, uh, how do you say this in English, pliers, uh, tweezers. I use a couple of tweezers in order to adjust the, the, the mesh, the net, 
to the bottom over there and now we are uh, prepared to add the layer of dirt just keep in mind one thing if you add dirt from the outside you are adding the dirt and you are adding also the microorganisms and stuff that you don't see to your uh, micro uh, environment that are in that is in here so uh, some of them little bugs can uh, damage the plants or whatever that is inside uh, living so keep that in mind and be very careful with the kind of uh, dirt that you are going to choose I'm going to choose uh, something that I bought on the store in the store and later I'm going to add a, a, a different kind of material and you are, you are going to see why I choose that sometimes you can bring along some microorganisms that create mold inside because this is going to be closed and all of the moss that is going to grow in the top of the fossils well will will have to grow without uh, any kind of of uh, fungus or mold and this is quite important so uh, i'm going to add the dirt so i'm doing that outside because here in the office uh, i will definitely make a mess so be right back Ta -da! so now you get the point now you get the idea of what uh, i am trying to achieve in here so i had this uh, layer over here this layer of substrate so i bought this one over here so this is my gopro uh, disconnecting so i add this layer over here but you can use any kind of dirt there's no special trick about it just keep in mind if you add um, the net uh, some speckles and some pieces of dirt will collect in the bottom that's normal but you get the point what what i am trying to achieve in here but now uh, it comes the fun part so uh, now uh, i have to do to have some imagination because i am going to put some moss some plants I'm going to collect some some biodiversity in the environment I have plenty of fossils already inside I'm not sure what I'm going to do but hopefully something cool and something green so now I am going to do some field trip just come along with me this is going to be fast and we'll see what I'm going to create in here so so friends continue. I know that this video is about fossils but today we are going to pick up some uh, nice plants to put on our vivarium because we already have some fossils uh, well um, I don't know uh, specifically what kind of uh, plants I'm going to put in the vivarium um, I'm not an expert in plants um, but I will try to to take home a little bit of this moss as you can see here very nice so uh, I will try to pick some species, small species of plants that uh, I guess couldn't grow much uh, because I don't want a sequoia to, <laughs> to grow inside of that container uh, and I'm going to uh, bring home some of this moss and probably some of these little plants over here as well because they seem that they are growing in in the moss so uh, let me take out my tools and be so right. I already picked uh, a few pieces of moss this one is a different species of this other one that I have in here I bring along some small containers to carry this home with me uh, just keep in mind not to squash the the moss or the plants inside of the the, the container because um well you could you could harm them so uh, I, just with a simple screwdriver i'm not going to remove all of the moss just a little bit so the rest can grow back oh okay and if you look carefully this looks like small trees <laughs> which is kind of nice okay okay i guess this is what I need it's cool okay let me put this inside of the container okay now we have small trees <laughs> okay and this other one 
so I'm not sure what kind of plant this is but uh, looking at the, the other ones that are around so they don't grow much so it could be a nice candidate to put on our little vivarian so one thing that uh, I know uh, every time you collect a, a plant specimen or a moss just make sure that you bring along uh, a piece of the dirt and the most of its roots because uh, without them the plant will surely die and like that I guess it, it's it's a good candidate to to live inside our vivarian so and make sure that you didn't don't uh, mess around much so I'm going to leave that other ones in there um, because it's it's nature and you should always just uh, pick one or two and leave the rest to de regenerate around here so let's get going so my dear friends I uh, came to this place that was an ancient water mill you already saw that on my other movies and I came in here because this is a place where is, there is no eucalyptus or pines and I'm going to collect uh, a, a little bit of the ground so why I'm going to do that because um, this ground is full of microorganisms and little bugs that are going inside uh, the vivarian and they are important in maintaining the balance inside because it's going to be closed and I'm going to to try to to bring along a piece of, of, of the well of this layer over here which is composed of broken pieces of branches and some leaves well this is all decomposing material that is going to be the fuel for some plants and perhaps I will add some insects as well that would help to do the the rest of the um, decomposition of this material so let's get started okay mm -hmm. well I hope I don't bring along some nasty bugs that eat all of the the things that I'm going to put inside the vivarian well at least they are not going to eat the fossils <laughs> okay it's a nice layer over here Okay. I probably are not I'm not going to use all of this but just a little bit. Okay. Hello friends. So, a week has passed and I didn't progress anything in my terrarium. As you can see, all of the plants that I bring home are still not there. Uh, but I must confess that I did something previously so the plants that I bring home, I managed to do something uh, a little bit more or less like the, the thing that I have. So I gather the two uh, transparent boxes. As you can see, there's a lot of condensation inside. Um, the process of doing something like this is the same that, uh, that we did in the, in the Viveri. So I put a lot of water, there's a lot of condensation inside and a week has passed and as you can see almost every well there's a couple of exceptions but almost every plant that i bring home it's alive and it smells like forest so the moss did not make it very well so it's kind of yellowish so this is not very good and i'm not sure if this is moss or lichens but i guess the problem here it's because I added some some company water and these uh, little uh, plants don't like things that are not uh, totally pure so in the future I have to compensate for that so the this is part of the moss that I bring home it's alive and kicking <laughs> so so cool I am I'm seeing some sort of bugs flying out so some insects so it's very very cool inside of the of this box i'm going to put a lid because i don't want the moist to get out so i'm going to put a lid on this one and these other ones that are in here have a different kind of setup i guess i still didn't open this after one week 
so I'm not sure so these are some uh, some boxes of some vegetables so still green Woo it's still cool so woo, it smells good also no signs of of mold still very very green and well this is cool looking cool okay now this is okay as well so I'm going to close this be right back with the plants in just one moment and now I just want to show you this because I think it's important so um, I'm going to put some rocks inside first I'm going to add a layer of, of uh, that that dirt that is full of microorganisms that I have inside of this container uh, and I just want to put two or three fossils around I'm not want I don't want to do some sort of a large construction like this one because the objective here is to put plants inside so I selected a few well you can say ugly fossils so I'm not sure which ones are going to 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 make it inside so uh, this one is not the fossil but the the looks of the the rock it's very cool because it has some some holes over here where you can put some plants growing and we have some well nice uh, grooves we can plant uh, something in here that is growing to this side I guess it look it could be cool so I have some scatter around uh, so we will uh, we'll see how they look inside but first first of all I want to for you I want to show so first of all I want to show you guys I come up with the lid to the vivarium because this is very important the moist cannot go outside and all of the bugs and and stuff must stay inside so now first thing I'm going to add a little bit of water so just to this layer so this for this layer to be a little moist before I, I added the other the other part so let's get to started okay let me put some some nice water inside just spraying like this like this okay as you can see the glass is looking foggy but we'll fix that in a minute okay I just want the dirt to get real moisty in here because this is very important this is the bottom layer okay now it's okay now I have to show you this as well so I didn't know where to bought something and I made a little tweezers with some chopsticks chopsticks so uh, I'm going to clean the inside for you guys to see the rest what is going to happen now so now it has some water inside the the ground the substrate is very moisty and I'm going to add this dirt that we collected outside keep in mind that uh, most of these bits that are in here are full with insects and some could be rotting away uh, with the as the time passes so it's very important to have some some microorganisms that decompose that in order to this be added to the the ecosystem but without creating mold and I'm going to explain that uh, later on in the video but now I'm just going to add this inside I need to use both hands because this is very narrow to put like that so just give me a moment I added the layer of dirt as you can see we have the substrate we have the layer of the of the microorganisms in here you might say that this is uh, well this is too much dirt well it probably is but I want to use some some um, plants that have uh, a lot of roots and I have to to make sure that they have plenty of nutrients in here in order to grow so inside as you can see I put uh, a little bit of water just to moist everything so it's not looking great but now I'm going to add the rocks and be right back with you I added a few fossils so the gastropod and there's a cuckoo over there as well and I'm not sure if I'm going to add any more just to make sure that I leave room for the plants to grow but I guess now it's time to add the plants and we'll see let me just 
walk away a, a little bit for you guys to see it, how it's turning uh, into. So now I'm going to add the plants and we'll see how this thing will go. So um, I don't know if I should should have more visual because um, well I need to fill the, the gaps inside of here. I am looking to put some moss over there but I'm not really sure what I'm going to do, to do. because um, well if I add this coral bit over here I'm sh I'm guessing that this is it's going to be it's going to be too much. Now this is uh, just a little test with this ones I'm not sure if I'm going to put more in here uh, well, in, in the bottom there are a lot of them, but I guess now, for me, I guess it's cool. Uh, less, I guess it's better. So, let's start heading. So the... guys, I must say that it was really, really cool to build this Viverian. Uh, I guess it's kind of looking real, real cool. It looks like a mini jungle in there, so I had lots of different species of moss. Some plants that I don't know the name but I hope that don't grow a lot. Uh, I added a few species of plants over there as well that grow uh, next to the river. I guess this other one, I'm not sure if this one is going to give me problems because uh, I guess this grows a lot. So we have a different kind of uh, um, moss. I guess we have some lichens over there. Uh, well, I'm planning to add uh, a few little bugs that eat away the, the mold. So I guess I'm going to add, I don't know, probably a millipede. So it kind of looks like a mini jungle with the millipede <laughs> hanging around. I guess it's going to uh, look cool. So guys, um, this is, was my first one inside of this container. I guess you can do this in, in, uh, in uh, other containers as well. I'm not sure if I'm going to add any more um, plants in, in here. So now I'm going to put some water and leave it like that for a couple of days. Uh, so I know that probably some of the plants or some of the stuff, uh, some of the plants are, are not going to make it. So that's uh, from my heard from the internet, that's pretty normal. Uh, so um, I'm going to put a lid in, in here as well. So um, guys, don't forget if you like, uh, don't forget to put a like and subscribe. You will help me a lot with these crazy constructions and we'll see you on the next movie. Bye.